Alright guys, Mr. G here with more Crossout, and we finally have patch 0 0.970, and this one is a big one. It's got a lot. Uh, this is going to be the Mr. G reads the patch notes rambly. Let's talk about what's new, what's good, what's bad, and what's been changed in Crossout. First thing out the gate, we now have clan battles with Leviathans. I've been begging for brawl mode with Leviathans for ages. So hoping after some testing this is something that maybe more players could be involved with. Right now it looks like it's mostly going to be isolated to clan battles and they're going to be testing it until the 27th. Obviously we got the new pack, uh, Spectral Hunter is coming out that comes with the Beater Cab. That's the one that gives us a bonus to damage after being cloaked. And we've got the Epic Mine Layer, the Snare. Looking forward to trying that out. So this unique cabin, we've got the Ghost. Uh, it is a medium cabin. It's got a power score of 1,500, tonnage of 5,500 kilograms, and a mass limit of 11,000 kg. So it's a medium cap coming in there around the Step Spider, also going to give you 12 energy. But the unique feature on this thing is it gets a bonus damage of 1% per second while a car is cloaked. Uh, bonus is reset after 5 seconds. So uh, something that's going to be handy to use your charged chameleon with this thing. Uh, so that's that out of the way. Those are the two big new things, and there's a couple of new parts coming as well. Um, some changes in manufacturing and building. They've added new in-game resources. We've got batteries, um, which you've got to do a special mission to get these from, and we've got plastic. That's going to be probably going with this in-game event called Flea Market. So with this, this event will end on May 31st. During the event, all survivors can exchange wires for new resources, battery and plastic. Resource exchange rate is 1 to 1. Okay, scrap metal. Production and number of comedy of rarity parts now requires 50 pieces of scrap metal. So Cord, Lupara, Cannon Avenger, and the WWT1. So they're going to make new players try out crafting to make some new white parts. Um, nice bonus to copper production. It's going to be tripled. For raiding and invasion mode and Leviathan. So your copper farming just got bumped big time. Uh, changes in recipes. So now that we have new resources in the game, the amount of copper earned and requirements of recipes was also changed. So that is going to be just tweaked all over the place. You can take a look in the patch notes yourself. Uh, Co-drivers are now going to cost... Uh, they're going to cost 300 pieces of copper to unlock skills with. So you're going to just have to spend more to get skills from co-drivers. Uh, warehouse extension and blueprint extension has been made cheaper, which is nice. Uh, in Bedlam mode, they've added the factory map to the rotation. For brawls, there's free-for-all, which is nothing new. On the debriefing screen, players are now listed according to their place. As additional information, the screen displays number of kills and deaths. So they're just fixing up UI, cleaning things up. Big Black Scorpions now has Rock City as a map. Battle Royale has a whole bunch of tweaks to weapons. Now, if you're looking at that, those tweaks are only going to be for Battle Royale, so don't panic. Those are all specific to that Brawl mode. Okay, what do we got going on with weapons overall? We'll get to that in a minute, because first, we've got a few new parts. So we've got some new faction parts, which is a great thing to see from Crossout adding new armor bits. We've got this structural part called Plain Air Intake. Uh, you get that on level 6 with Nomads, and you get another one with level 13 in Nomads. Always like new armor bits. Uh, what other changes do we have? The Docker. It has its durability bumped up from 350 to 390, so a bit of a buff. And maximum speed increased by 5 kilometers per hour. Still waiting for that speedometer. The WWT1 gets a durability bump as well, and its weight is reduced, and its maximum speed is increased. Those two were super slow. Now this is kind of a big one, the Spike Crossbow. It gets a range increase and it gets a projectile flight speed increase by 50%, which is huge, and a big fat 28% nerf to reload speed. So you're going to be seeing these things more accurate over great distances, which I don't really know why they needed it, because I'm already getting sniped across the map from people that are good with these. They're just going to get better. Uh, the Aspect Machine Gun got nerfed by 10%. Uh, I guess that feels about right. You know, it wasn't that OP, but it was a little bit. Once again, they're buffing the Skinner, increasing Harpoon turn speed and cable strength, and adding a cable winding option, which is awesome. We needed that so we can reel people in. Hopefully we'll see more of those used. The Fortune, which literally nobody uses, got a damage buff in hopes that maybe it won't suck so bad. Uh, and lastly, 
It looks like all drones, except Fuse, will be painted in the color scheme of the model that launches them, which is nice. Uh, we've got some interface changes to the UI. Improved hints, added some graphics thingy, what's it, some font scaling, um, and some miscellaneous nicks and knacks and bits and bobs. I did hear that you can now search exhibition by part or object, which is great. We got drone logic improved. Improved display of wheels, improved Cerberus cabin model, number of random things, improved warning window when you want to produce a part from a workbench, and a whole pile of bug fixes. So that's pretty much it for the rundown on this patch. I will be making stuff with the new ghost cabin and the new mine layer ASAP. Just wanted to get you guys a quick update on patch 0 0.970 in Crossout. You found this useful and you want to get more of these please hit that like and subscribe button because i do always try and get those patch updates out to you as soon as possible that's it for this one guys mr g out